What's going on guys? Rounded Tic Tac here and today we're going to be talking about Are you serious? Who the hell? <sighs> What's going on guys? Well, I'm back. I'm back. I know you missed me. My name is Fortnite Player 123.tv.yt. That's that's who I am. And I'm here because this schmeckle can't even bring you simple math and easy information. Oh, really? If it's that simple, then why don't you do it? More cooldown equals more damage. Bada bing, bada boom. It's that easy. That's that that's not how it works. Yeah, all you gotta do is you gotta take the DPS, multiply it by the value of damage, add the impact, carry the Y, convert the heat reduction, and the catalytic converter. What the f did you just say? And the last one I'm pretty sure was a car part. What? That's it. That's, that's how you do it. Yeah, but what about crit? What's crit? I've recorded this video so many times. What's up, guys? My name is Rounded Tic Tac, and I want to talk to you about Happy Holidays versus Totally Rocking Out. Originally, I was going to make this video and give you a ton of mathematical breakdowns and use this, not that. No. No, it's impossible. They don't give us enough information, uh, and I would have to visually count frame by frame. I'm not doing it. It's, it doesn't matter. The difference is you'll never notice them ever. So I just want to talk about two things and then show you some cool loadouts. I want to help you visualize exactly what's going on here and maybe uh, explain Happy Holidays a little bit more. So we have two going commando perks here. All right. We're going to compare their DPS uh, with both of these perks. It, let's just jump let's just let's, let's just jump right in let's let's just jump right in so we're gonna take going commando i'm gonna bust out the calculator here you know you know things are serious that i'm taking out this thing that i don't know how to use all right cool down 20 seconds this is with happy holidays all right uh since within the build we have ain't done yet which adds five seconds our total time that we're using the minigun is 15 seconds long all right 15 seconds long on a 20 second cooldown that means our actual downtime is five seconds. All right, five seconds. We'll get back to that in just a second. 28,000 damage, let's just keep it casual. 28,000 damage, it fires 18 shots. So multiply by 18, it goes 504,000 damage. All right, multiply that by our 15 seconds uptime. It's 7,560,000 damage you can do with pressing C or Z or whatever you wanna do. That's a lot of damage. That makes this build actually viable. But if we take that and say you have a tank shielded 163 smasher, say that happens, right? This isn't killing him. Let's see how much damage you can do within a minute. So since the cooldown is only five seconds, how many times can you use this ability in a minute? Well, you multiply it by three. So 7,560,000 damage times three will give us a grand total of 22,680,000 damage, and this is not accounting for crits at all. This is no crits whatsoever in a minute. So 22 million damage in a minute, which is respectable. It's not bad at all. Let's take a look over at the Totally Rocking Out build that actually relies on crits. The reason I look different is because I had to re-record this because I forgot to do the math with first cup of the day with first cup of the day your crit chance is 275 percent i did the calculation for 175 percent if first cup of the day is not in your build within a minute you're looking at 26 million damage compare that to 22 million damage uh without totally rocking out and you'll see that the numbers are pretty similar and maybe having a five second cooldown is better but let's do the math correctly here uh so same thing as we did before we have a 34 second cooldown now with a 15 second uptime so we're going to do 34 minus 15 and that gives us a total downtime of 19 seconds you cannot use your minigun again for 19 seconds since that's the case and we add 15 seconds to that that gives us 34 seconds so being generous here you can use your minigun twice in a minute and eight seconds that's being generous all right just so it keeps the math a little simple now let's check out the damage the modifier for with first cup of the day in the build is 275 percent crit damage that's the modifier so if we take 280,000 damage or 28,000 damage and we multiply that by 2.75 that will give us 77,000 damage per shot not including headshots or anything like that this this base numbers here we're working with 77,000 damage times 18 equals a total of 1,386,000 damage 
and then multiply that by the entire duration of the minigun 20 million 790 thousand damage in 15 seconds it doesn't really work like this unless you activate totally rocking out twice let's do the math for that as well or try to although you can proc totally rocking out twice if you bring battle beat uh and you kill 10 enemies like you eat away for pull out the minigun and then after that diminishes you eat you kill 10 enemies so it starts again that's a very viable thing that happens all the time but let's just see we'll do it with eight seconds we'll just do it with eight seconds so within uh 18 shots per second and you can do it for 18 for eight seconds so we'll do it by we'll do 77,000 times 18 times uh eight now we're looking at 11 million damage which is still way more than the 7 million 560 thousand damage here so even if you were to only get the first eight seconds you're still out dpsing it however with the seven million five hundred and sixty thousand happy holidays build you're looking at in a minute you're looking at twenty two million six hundred and eighty thousand damage in this case since you can only really use it twice in a minute you're looking at twenty two million one hundred and seventy six thousand damage so unless you're doing extreme values of uh, totally rocking out, you'll see in that most builds in this game are rather similar. And no matter what the cooldown is or whatever you may be doing, it still comes out to remotely the same damage. And granted, this math isn't perfect. I know it's not. You don't got to tell me in the comments. I know. I'm just trying to help you visualize what the difference between the two builds could be. So let's just see if the absolute best case scenario happens, uh, how much damage you can pull off with totally rocking out and a minigun. So 77,000 damage per shot, not including headshots here. Once again, uh, we're going to multiply that by let's hypothetically say you get battle beat and totally rocking out to kick in twice. So we're going to do the entire duration. So 77,000 times 18 shots or 18 shots a second times 15 seconds because eight plus eight is 16 so you can have that you can have it for the whole duration it's possible you're at 20 million damage you can use it almost twice within a minute so we're just going to multiply that by two so you're looking at 41 million damage in a minute that's nuts granted that doesn't happen all the time and it's for a mini boss it's not really 100 percent viable because you're not if you're focusing the mini boss you're not really going to be focusing the other guys to get battle beat kicked in again but if you can pull it off 41 million damage so with that being said and hopefully this helps visualize you know which perk you might want to because if i'm being completely honest totally rocking out with spitfire is is over it's overkill it's freaking overkill uh you and eventually probably the other one wins out in dps if a fight somehow had like six trillion health eventually uh the cooldown one probably will win but again depending on what build you bring there is something to be said about that too and and speaking about that there's also uh happy holidays frees up two spots so now you can bring subway throughs if you want to or you could bring startup or mad or mad tidings in startup or crit damage in startup now you have an insanely strong uh minigun that that hits for 7 million damage in 15 seconds on a five second cooldown you have shockwave on like a what a 15 second cooldown a 15 second cooldown and you have two of the best damage perks in the game so you're actually hitting with you know your assault rifle uh very very hard that's why i'm not going to with totally rocking out you're stuck with the two heroes that you need so I'm not going to tell you any best bill in the game yet. Those videos are coming, but I, there's way too much stuff to talk about and try and, and things like that. But I will give you some ideas on what you should and maybe should not be doing. So I just want to give you guys some ideas on what you might want to uh, bring. Number one is Outlanders. Outlanders abilities cannot crit. None of them. None of them. Even side smash. They're all deployables and deployables usually don't crit since that's the case that's part of the reason why outlanders fell off so hard and happy holidays is the best perk for outlanders you can argue bioenergy source depending on what kind of build you're trying to pull off but happy holidays frees up a bunch of slots can make an entire customizable build 
that has 40% cooldown on basically everything. Space Technology, this was a build I was playing. This build hits for 600,000 damage within three seconds with Static Cling and Fire the Dragon. Uh, her explosion hits for like 280,000 and then the ticks three times for like 108,000 damage. It's a lot of fun. On top of that, the cooldown for her shock tower with a fragment is eight seconds and without it's 11. So that's a fun build you can try. Uh, there's nothing else that you can bring here to make it better. The second thing that I would suggest is bringing a constructor or using it on a constructor. In the base game, you really don't need supercharged traps except maybe like on an SSD or something along those lines. If that's the case, you're also not usually bringing uh, offensive perks in your support slots for a constructor. You're usually bringing defensive ones. So it's better to have a cooldown on your decoy, your bull rush, and your plasma pulse, and even Rosie it works on. If you place Rosie at the start of the mission, use it up, you automatically get another one, and then you'll be able to use it three or even four more times within the mission if you bring Happy Holidays. Like I said, this video, I'm not going to make like best builds, but I just wanted to give you a better understanding and better idea and compare them. Most of the, the, the other ones that I wouldn't really suggest it on are soldiers and ninjas, unless you're playing a very specific build to where you want to use abilities and abilities only totally rocking out for dps terms is going to win it works with minigun it works with lefty and righty it works with shockwave it works with ninja stars it works with dragon slash it works with kunai flip just ninjas and outlanders all of their kits are and some of their abilities are fully based around crit and being able to proc crit all the time is in my opinion usually better even if you try to play it on a Dragon Slash build, Dragon Slash build is a 10 second base cooldown that can crit, or you can bring Happy Holidays and have an eight second cooldown that has a 10% chance to crit. In my opinion, Totally Rocking Out wins there. But that's just my opinion once again. I just wanted to bring this video to you guys and try to visualize and give you some ideas on what you wanna try and maybe not try. But again, these are just my opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video down in the comments below. If you have any builds that you may have found that are fantastic and a lot of fun, let me know. Tell me about them. Maybe I'll give them a try. Maybe I'll make a video about them. I'll see you guys on the next one. If you guys want to check out the stream, we're live right now at twitch.tv slash roundedtictac. Come say what's up. Uh, if you want to support the channel in any way, you can use creator code OOTICTACOO if you're spending any V-Bucks or buying anything on the Epic Games Store. And lastly, if you like this video, I make videos like this, trap tunnel guides, and full weapon breakdowns all the time. Think about subscribing, maybe hitting the bell, give it a like. It really helps out the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Tic Tac out.